Got a question about the AI profiler and how it does on older labels. So let's go ahead and let me demo this for you. I've got it set up. I'm going to put it to a split system here and the type of system and just select cooling only. I'm going to go into the library and I've got a photo of an old label here. So we'll just go ahead and add that in. And then let's view this real quick just so you can see the challenge that we have here. So this is a, a old dot matrix type label. Again, it's not a common font. It's grayed out. It's a little hard to read. The center of it, you can see the GSH. And I think it says 13036-1AC. You know, old Goodman numbers that pretty much follows their stuff there. R22 system. So let's go ahead. Let's run it through the AI profiler and see what happens. So when you hit profile system, it's running it out to the web and it's doing a run it through our AI engine. And it shouldn't take but a, just a second here on this type of a unit. And so we got success. So what it picked up is it's a split system. It did not select the compressor type. So you can see there's no symbols next to that. Those green, blue symbols, those are showing that AI was used to do that. So we would just select, it's got a reciprocating compressor. Year manufacturer, 2006, Goodman. It got the number, nailed it, GSH. 13036AC, got the serial number off there, set it up for three ton R22, 400 CFM per ton. It guessed the sear at 13 to 16, so we would go ahead and change that. That's obviously probably a 10 to 12 sear. And then it got the condensers 230, 240 volt single phase. When we hit continue, you'll notice also up here, it changed the refrigerant in the app to R22 and it's got everything set up and profiled so we're ready to go. It's really quite slick and it does a great job on old stuff and new stuff, but remember, it's AI, it's a predictive engine, so you have to look at it and make sure it's right, but for the most part, it'll nail it every time.